Hey, what's going on all my fellow tube heads out there in YouTube land? This is Cyber Ray 1976, also known as Evil Eddie, coming at you again today with another video. This one's a little different though than what I've done before in the past. Uh, for one, I'm behind the camera instead of in front of it. And uh, the reason for that is I wanted to give you a really good look at what I wanted to show you today. Uh, this particular video I've gotten several requests from several people to do this particular video and it's one that I've been wanting to do for quite some time I thought it would be you know just a cool video a uh, fun video to do and uh, this is my soundtrack collection now this is uh, part one this will be my cassette tapes my soundtracks on cassette tapes and part two We'll cover my soundtracks on CD. Now, what are you looking at here? Well, this is a what I like to call the wall of music. The wall of soundtracks. And I have a total of 15 of them. Now, part two, I may have to do a part three because I've got 40 soundtracks on CD, whereas I only have 15 on cassette tape. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the soundtracks I do have on cassette tape. Now, these are in alphabetical order. Uh, no particular reason, you know, I didn't want to do, uh, you know, like my favorite to my least favorite or anything like that. I just, I just wanted to do them in alphabetical order. And the first soundtrack we're going to look at in the Great Wall of Soundtracks, the Batman soundtrack. Yep, it's the Batman from 1989. With all the songs you remember from the movie, mostly done by Prince, it's got the Bat Dance on here. It's got the Bat Dance, Trust, Party Man. Scandalous. All the songs you remember from the, the Tim Burton movie. It's a cool soundtrack to a cool movie. One of the best superhero movies ever made, in fact. Now, moving on. Now, um, this next particular one is not a soundtrack. It's a score. And the difference between a score and a soundtrack is that a soundtrack actually has you know, lyrics, actual songs, whereas a score is just mainly instrumental, instrumental music. And this particular uh, particular score is my favorite score to my favorite movie, and that is Conan the Barbarian. And. If you've never heard this score, it's magnificent. It's by far my favorite score to any movie ever composed. I mean, the movie is great, don't get me wrong, but the score just makes it that much better. It's really a powerful, bold, and just uh, an, an amazing score to an amazing movie. Moving on, this is the score to Conan the Destroyer, the sequel to Conan the Barbarian. Another good score, not quite as good as the Barbarian, but still an incredible score done by an incredible composer named Basil Poliodorus, who has also done the score to other movies uh, such as uh, Starship Troopers, uh, Total Recall. Robocop. Uh, I think he did the score to Basic Instinct. Uh, he's done some amazing, amazing music to some amazing movies. He just recently passed away, so sadly we won't get to hear any more of his magnificent music. Okay, the next score is the soundtrack to Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. One of my favorites from the Nightmare on Elm Street series. 
and uh, this has Dream Warriors on it, of course. This the main title uh, soundtrack, as long as well as a few other docking songs. But uh, yeah, this is my favorite. Gotta love the Nightmare on Elm Street Three Dream Warriors song. Moving right on down the line here. My favorite vampire movie of all time. One of my favorite soundtracks of all time. In fact, if you can hear it playing in the background, you hear the Fright Night score. This has got a lot of 80s, famous 80s bands on it. You may recognize such as Jay Giles Band and Devo. It's great. And look at that cover art. Moving right on down the line here. We have the Footloose soundtrack. Now I think everybody's probably had this soundtrack at one time or another. Oh, and it's got a, it's got a ton of 80s, famous 80s songs on here. I'm sure you probably remember, such as, well, the main title track, Footloose by Kenny Loggins. Got Dancing in the Sheets. It's got Denise Williams, Let's Hear for the Boy. Uh, Almost Paradise, you know, that uh, most people remember. Uh, it's got uh, Holding Out for a Hero by Bonnie Tyler. Kenny Loggins, I'm Free. Sammy Hagar's The Girl Gets Around. I'm sure probably most people are familiar with the Footloose soundtrack. And, uh, speaking of, we did two Arnold movies and here's a third Arnold movie. The Last Action Hero soundtrack. It's a great soundtrack. It's a great rock soundtrack. A lot of really great rock bands on this. ACDC, Alice in Chains, Megadeth. Def Leppard, Anthrax, Aerosmith, uh, Tesla. Ah, the soundtrack is just awesome. The movie, mm, not so much. Soundtrack, oh, it's 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 great. Whoops. All right, rocking on down the line here. Who would have ever thought? that any movie in this particular horror series would have a soundtrack but sure enough there is one it's the soundtrack to Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 yep and this has a lot of metal on it a lot of hard hard rock there's actually only two songs on here that I really really like and it's sparking my heart and the song that's called Leatherface. Other than that, eh, not a great soundtrack, but pretty rare from what I understand. Moving right on down the line. Another one of my favorite 80s movies. It's the soundtrack to Legend. Yep. A lot of this mu music on here is instrumental. There's actually only two actual songs on the entire soundtrack. And Tangerine Dream, you may be familiar with them. They did a lot of soundtracks for a lot of 80s movies. Uh, Tangerine Dream did a lot of the music for this movie. Uh, it's, a, it's a great movie. One of my favorites from the 80s. One of my favorite fantasy films. If you've never seen Sound, uh, never seen Legend, definitely give it a look. Speaking of the 80s, here's another really great soundtrack from another great 80s movie. It's the soundtrack to Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. And just like the soundtrack before it, 
the one I just showed you, Legend, this soundtrack only actually has two actual songs on it. The rest is instrumental music. It's just score. It has We Don't Need Another Hero by Tina Turner and One of the Living by Tina Turner. The rest is just instrumental. But I love those two songs and I love this movie. Alright, next, this is the Mortal Kombat soundtrack. Now, this isn't the soundtrack to the movie, per se. It Well, it sort of is, but it sort of isn't. Um, this has songs from the movie on it, plus a whole lot more. This has the, you know, the Techno Syndrome Mortal Kombat theme, but every character from the game and from the movie Johnny Cage, Kano, Sub-Zero, Liu Kang, Scorpion, Sonya Blade, Raiden, and Goro all have their own songs on here. Now I do have the Mortal Kombat the actual official movie soundtrack but I thought this was cool so I went ahead and included it because it does have a couple of the songs on it from the movie. Alright. Moving right along. Another great, great soundtrack. 80's soundtrack to another great 80's horror film. It's the soundtrack to Return of the Living Dead. Oh my god, this is such a great soundtrack. If you're into punk metal, punk rock, S has so many good songs on it. 45 Grave, The Cramps, SSQ, Jet, Jet Blackberries. This has several good songs on it that I really, really like. Surfing Dead, Party Time, Love Under Will, Tonight We'll Make Love Till We Die. I mean, this. A great soundtrack to a great horror movie. Return of the Living Dead. They're back from the grave and ready to party. Ah, another great, great 80s soundtrack from another great 80s movie. Probably most people probably had this also at some point or another. The Rocky IV soundtrack. Oh my god, this is... I used to listen to this so much back in the day. Great songs on it from uh, Survivor, uh, John Cafferty, Kenny Loggins, James Brown. I mean, awesome. Awesome soundtrack to an awesome movie. Yo, Adrian. Yo, Adrian. Moving right along, another great 80's sci-fi horror, They Live. Oh yes, it's the soundtrack to They Live, John Carpenter's sci-fi masterpiece. And this is all score actually, there's no, even though it's called a soundtrack on the front, it's actually just a score because there is no actual songs on this on the soundtrack. But uh, it's a great soundtrack. I mean, I love John Carpenter's instrumental music. I mean, he does great work. Uh, it's awesome. And the last soundtrack I want to show you in this particular video, this one is called The Soundtrack Smashes of the 80s. This has a lot of different music from a lot of different movies from the 80s. It has The Heat Is On by Glenn Fry, um, The Theme from Miami Vice by Ian Hammer, uh, Jan Hammer, I mean, um, Oingo Boingo's Weird Science, uh, Patti LaBelle's New Attitude, uh, Harold Faltermeyer's Axel F from um, Beverly Hills Cop. I mean, it's such a it says a ton of great 80s 
soundtrack music. Soundtrack smashes of the 80s. And there you have it, my soundtrack collection on cassette tape. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I've gotten a lot of requests from people wanting to see it. And um, there you have it. They Live, Soundtrack Smashes of the 80s, Rocky IV, Return of the Living Dead, Mortal Kombat, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, Legend, Leatherface, Last Action Hero, Footloose, Fright Night, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Conan the Destroyer, Conan the Barbarian, and Batman. Alright guys, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you guys in part two. Soundtracks on CD. Later.